here, you, here we are again. So this problem, we have some wires and we have to determine the center of this composite figure made out of wires and it's a 3D problem by the way. So the first thing that we have to do is identify that these are wires and not areas. If they were areas it's different but because this is, these are wires remember our equations are going to be the summation from i equal 1 to n of x i l i divided by the summation from i equal 1 to n of l i and then y bar is going to be the summation from i equal 1 to n of y i l i divided by the total length and z bar is going to be equal to the integration or the summation which is the same thing of z i l i divided by the total length. Remember this is always from i equal 1 to n. And what this is telling you is no other thing just by, okay, divide this in figures, 1 to n, get the center of each one of the figures, get the length of each one of the figures, multiply the length times the centroid of each one of the figures and divide by the total length. It's like a weighted average of the centroids. That's exactly what it is. First thing that we have to do, divide this in figures. And not only divide this in figures, but uh, find the centroid of each one of the figures. So we're going to say that this is the first figure, figure 1. This is figure 1. This is figure 2. And this is figure 3. And our a problem is just in case you don't see it there's a cable here or a wire here here and then this part also round it's a semicircular wire there centroid of the first one is going to be located somewhere here centroid of the second one is going to be located here at the center and centroid of the third one is going to be located here at the center. You know these two, you should know those. This one, well that one, even if you don't know the exact location, you, you, you should know that it's somewhere around there. How do you know the exact location? You can go to the book and in the book, don't confuse first of all these with these. This is a, these are areas, semicircular area and these are semicircle arcs. So when you come here and you realize what the problem the, the book is telling you is telling you that the location first of the centroid is located uh, is giving us 2r divided by pi so this is what we have to do 2r divided by pi so if you have the circle that's in my circle over there like that the distance from here to here is going to be 2r divided by pi and of course the length is going to be pi times r for that one. Now we have to build up our table and our table we always start like you don't have to build these tables all the time but we are learning the process so I, I like to be organized because at the end once you finish the statics this is going to be just one equation and you put everything in one line in your calculator and solve for it. But for now let's say figure li x i y i z i and then l i because here i have to do l i x i and what l i y i or vice versa and l i z i and then we're gonna have all of our values here and if i want to calculate this one i just do the summation at the end of this and divide by the summation of the total length and that will give us the centroid of each one of the figures that we are looking for so what do we do then here well first thing figure one I say is this figure so I like to mark my figures and I say that the one that I'm calculating is this one like that this is the figure one for me the length, the length of this one is going to be pi times r. Radius is 120, so it's going to be 120 times pi. Copy the units. This is millimeters, 
millimeters, millimeters, millimeters, and this is going to be millimeter square, millimeter square, and millimeter square. So I don't have to repeat units every single time. X, okay, X is in this way. What is going to be the location of this centroid in X? Location of this centroid in X is going to be this one because this is the x-axis and this is this one so it's going to be 2r divided by pi 2r is 2 times r 120 divided by pi that's my x I'm copying it like that so when you study you know what what I'm doing here now y this y is the vertical one and this is over the x z plane that means that y is zero now regarding the z plane if i come in this direction my z coordinate is going to be from here to here remember this is going to be exactly at the center because this is symmetric so this distance is going to be just the radius which is 120 and then i do the multiplication this times this this and this cancel out this is going to be 28,800 this times this is 0, and this times this is 45,238.93. Figure 1, done. Let's go to figure 2. Figure 2 is this one. Well, in figure 2, is this one in my axis. The length is defined. I don't have to calculate anything. X. Well, this is exactly over the y-axis, meaning x and z are 0. And the y distance of the centroid is going to be exactly at the center of that line. So it's going to be 50 millimeters. And then we do the multiplication. This is going to be 0, this is going to be 0, and this is going to be 5,000. And the next one, which is this one, the length... Let me copy first this, like that. This is the, the line that I'm looking for. This is the figure three. This is my figure three here, this one. So the length is just the hypotenuse of this triangle. So it's going to be the square root of 100 square plus 160 square. That's the length. X, no matter what, this is a straight line. If I go to the center at the hypotenuse, it's going to be at the center here, and it's going to be also at the center in the other end. So the, the center of the X distance is 80, and the center of the Y distance is 50. And as I said before, because this is over the XY plane, the Z coordinate is going to be 0. So then you multiply this times this, and you get... 15,094.37 and then you multiply this times this and you get 9,433.98 and this times this is 0 add them up 665.67 millimeters add them up and this is uh, 43,000 Yes, 40, 43,000, 894.37. This in Y is 14,433.98. And in Z is 45,238.93. And now it's done. If I want my x coordinate, it's just dividing this by this. 43,894.37 divided by 665.67. And that's going to be equal to 65.94 millimeters. That's my x. My y is 14,000. 433.98 divided by this 665.67 and that is equal to 21.68 millimeters 
and my z, I'm going to copy z here, is going to be 45,238.98 divided by 665.67. Remember, it's always the summation divided by the summation, which gives a z of 67.96 millimeters. There you go. Centroid of composite figures made out of lines. See you in the next video, guys.